Silver moonlight dances from the mists of Tegit shore. A lady looks upon her son like many times before, and she touches his face, fingers wet with the tears falling. Her daughter stands beside her, the fairest in the land. How her son became so cursed, she cannot understand. But this mother's love is as strong as her heart is beating. And she calls to the earth, and the earth hears her calling. Around stands tall All magic and all mysteries Are held within these walls So she walks to the door As she does the door it opens Teach to me the mystery Of the cauldron's brew Let utter darkness give way to light And be reborn anew Then the hour when will shine from the brow of the eagle of the sea And all will know his name From this land to the people of the sheep Set the cauldron's fire, tended by the hand Of Gwion Bark, the innocent and lord of the blind man Who reached out his hand Place more wood, keep the cauldron boiling Then Morda, he fell asleep, alas, he didn't see Wood upon wood was added, the inferno was the key to unlock the door of the Arwen's greatest mystery. Three drops burning skin, and it's Gwion who gained the power to see. And creeps slowly across the land to kill the horses of Garanir at the lake shore where they stand, drinking and not knowing their fate as a hare runs fast across the land. Keridwen, Keridwen, Lady of the Cauldron, come see what they have done, stolen your cauldron's power and betrayed your only son, your eyes wide. Lips curl, anger on your face. Change your shape now, lady. Be the hound. Begin the chase. Begin the chase. Begin the chase. Begin the chase. I shall be a running hare with sorrow and with mickle care. Then I shall be a greyhound, bitch and tame from your skin. Then I shall be a flying wren, the king of birds, the king of men. So I shall be a falcon grey and tear you from your skin. 
Then I shall be a salmon sleek Darting through a shallow creek So I shall be an otter bitch And rest you from your skin I shall be a grain beneath the sun And you will never know which one Then I shall be a great black hen And take you deep within Your name, the greatest part that this land will ever see.